Alright, so we're starting off today's vlog on a bitter, sad note, basically. Because I was just flying the drone to get like the opening shot for this full day of eating, and the wind totally caught it, and it crashed. So we're about to go see if it's totally done for. Oh my god. Oh no. This is what we got going on right here. The wind totally took it, and the whole entire camera bracket looks like snapped. So I definitely think I'll be able to repair it if I just send it back to DGI, obviously for a little bit of a cost, or I might even try to repair it myself. It looks like the bracket that holds the camera here just basically snapped, and a couple of wires came undone, but hopefully it's something I can fix, because this was uh, definitely cost a pretty penny, and also I want to have it for the channel, so... Keep you guys updated on that. Anyways, guys, let's go ahead and hop into the full day of eating here. Oh, okay. What is going on, beautiful people of the YouTube world? This is what we got from the number one here. So I showed you guys, it was like that white rice. I usually never get that because it's a little bit more expensive, but I actually had it on sale today. And I got it. It's actually really good. Um, my manager from the Trek Bicycle store that I work at, she actually has it. I tried it. Really good. I highly recommend it. Anyways, if you can afford it, it's a little bit more expensive side. I usually just stick with like the minute rice. Seems to be the cheapest. Easy to pop in or even just the boil and bags rice. Something quick and simple. Another thing that I found new is this. So this I found at Jewel Osco by my house. So basically what it is, it's like avocado mixed with lime and cilantro, kind of like a guacamole, but it's definitely not as thick at all. It's literally like almost like not water, but it's like a little bit like thicker than water. It's really hard to explain. It's really good. I throw it in with my rice and I had 7.6 ounces of beef. I'll have my macros listed for each meal somewhere on the screen, somewhere here and there. Today, my drone crashed. I was like devastated by it, but it happened. It's done. It's over with. You know, I was kind of sad about it at first. Um, it's actually sitting up there on my dresser and we're going to go ahead and get it fixed in Chicago, probably Thursday or Friday. Um, the bracket looks like broke. So I just, you know, I got to go in and get it fixed. That's all. Um, you know, it was my fifth time flying it. Give me some slack. I didn't know how strong the wind was today, and the whole wind just took it and threw it into a tree, and it fell like 300 feet. So I'm happy that it was only the bracket, and that's all. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna eat this right now. It's gonna be my pre workout meal. This is one of my favorite meals to have in the last couple days. I, like I said in the video, like two videos ago, I'm reverse dieting now. So I'm actually allowed to have more carbs. So the energy in the gym is back, the motivation is back. And I'll talk to you guys um, about that a little bit later and tell you guys my feelings on the cut, bulks, the whole fitness industry, and everything like that. Because I feel like People shouldn't have a message after cutting. People should know the truth about everything. So anyways, guys, I'm gonna go ahead, eat this, and I'll see you guys inside the gym. deadlift session today. Like I said, I've been doing the strength training program, so it's based off uh, like a 75, 80, or no, 65, 75, 85 percent of like my one rep max. It's called like the, the Wendler program. Um, so it's like a 531 based off percentages and like your one rep max, 9 percent of that. I won't get too much into detail, but it was a really good workout and uh, there's a lot of bugs over here. There's like a track by my gym, which is literally right over there. Um, so I just kind of walk over here, enjoy the nice weather. I'm about to go home and get a post-workout shake, which I'll show you guys. Keeping it simple, optimum nutrition, always keeping it strong for me, always keeping it good tasting as well. I wanted to go ahead and basically say something real quick, because we talked about that in like a couple clips ago, saying I wanted to give you guys my opinion on like the fitness industry, my opinion on cutting and bulking, kind of tying in together a little bit, right? So one thing I learned um, is to never dirty bulk again. It's not my style, puts on a lot of unnecessary fat as well. And I want to approach things different. I've never lean bulk before or strength trained before, which is going to be my first time doing this 
uh, ever in my life, so I'm excited for the results and everything like that. I'm really pushing it in the gym, having these extra carbs and reverse dieting and staying lean and really taking care of my body is definitely something I've like never done before, so to speak. I've always just ate a lot of food and lifted a lot of weight and like just got a lot of fat and just, I don't know, it wasn't good. Anyways, guys, let me go ahead and say this though, right? If you guys can hear that, there's a plane flying over. There's technically, so like down the street, there was a shooting that happened and the guy was still on like the loose. There's like a shooter. And like, I don't know if he's still on the loose. We're just chilling outside. We should probably be aware of that. I mean, it could be like over there. Dude, what the helicopter thinks we're the shooters? Anyways, besides that, oh my God, I got two guns on me. Nah, I'm just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. Anyways, guys, the fitness industry, right? Here's the thing. A lot of people will see these athletes, these people who are sponsored, a lot of those athletes um, are on drugs. Uh, that's not to say that they're not hardworking. Of course, all of them are very hardworking, dedicated. No disrespect to them. I'm not taking anything away from them. But the thing is, they give a unrealistic appearance that you're going to be 7, 8%, 9%, 10% body fat all the time and build muscle from it and look lean all the time, right? And a lot of people, when they don't see 30 pounds of muscle gained in the off season, you know, obviously over exaggerating that, when they don't see going to four or five percent body fat being shredded and walking around like that and feeling great and healthy and all this other stuff, when in reality it's not healthy and you're gonna feel like shit for most of you, like 95% of you. I feel like the fitness industry, it's really good to motivate people, but at the same time, it just creates this reality that it's just not attainable the way that people perceive it as. Let me go ahead and explain that. So let's just use an athlete for example. They're, they have like the supplement in their hand, right? Just imagine something right here. A fat burner, some type of supplement of some sort, right? They are 5% body fat, you know, maybe they dieted down for a week, um, and they're just huge, right? Some of these guys are even vlogging on YouTube and everything like that. And it's just not attainable naturally. Right, so a lot of people who are natural, including myself, including however other many people in this world are trying to get their body naturally. This person who's shredded and building muscle and huge and using drugs but not admitting it, or if, you know, if they don't say, you know, whatever, I don't care what you do, I don't have anything against it. Just if you're gonna do it and a little kid comes up to you and asks, then personally, I think you should tell the truth. But people, they see this and they don't get it and then they get mad and they either quit bodybuilding or create something in their head and it's like a it's like a body disorder essentially right so you look in the mirror every single moment you're so dialed in to your meals you're so dialed in to not being able to equal or uh not equal to um you're so dialed in to not having this balance in life of working out and enjoying life right it's like one thing during this cut is, it's not, how do I explain this? I mean, just eating these five different foods, thinking so much about it, looking in the mirror, like it felt like every five minutes, caring so much about a body, right? And caring so much, like it took away from my life. I wasn't able to enjoy my girlfriend. I wasn't able to enjoy my friends, my family, going out to eat, enjoying the things. I was always so hooked on, when is this next meal coming in? How much cardio today? What do we, like, you know, every single thing I was so attached on. And there's, I guess there's, technically speaking, there's nothing wrong with that, right? You're dedicated. But people should really learn to balance it out. And I've said this so many times, only because I see so many people my age, so many people who are starting to get into bodybuilding, starting to get into the gym, and they quit because they're not seeing these results that are on the magazines. They're not seeing these results right away. The people say, build all this muscle in 30 days. Get your bench press up 50 pounds in two weeks using this pre-workout and magical creatine and beta alamine will make your face tingle and build. I, you know what I mean? So I feel like the people should have a reality check. And if you're natural especially, like I said, I have no problem with drugs or whatever people are doing, that's your own business. Mind your own damn business, right? If you're a natural, have real body images in your head. Shoot for the best physique that you can build. Shoot for a balance in your life. At the end of the day, that balance, I guarantee you, I guarantee you by far, will make you more happy and make you have better lifts in your entire lifting career, right? You're gonna wanna go in the gym. When you're dieting off 10 carbs and go in the gym, can't get a pump at all, doing seven days of cardio, that's not fun. For most of us, that's not fun right and then you get miserable and then you quit because it sucks right 
have balance in your life. That's one thing I've learned from cutting and bulking, everything like that. Have some balance, have some fun with it. Have real, have a reality of what body you can obtain naturally. Don't necessarily follow everybody else. The fitness industry, don't follow everyone who says everything. Simple as that. All right guys, let's go home and get my post-workout shape. Just got done having our post-workout meal. I always, I need to stress this enough, you always need carbohydrates in your post-workout meal to restore glycogen. Also, obviously the protein for building muscle. Um, I usually shoot for a carb that's high in the glycemic index, and that's gonna be my oatmeal. And then try that peanut butter, that PB2 powder. You mix it basically with water, and it tastes really good mixing with oatmeal. I got like the peanut butter and chocolate one. Tastes really good, I do two servings of that, which is like only 12 carbs and eight grams of protein. Anyways guys, we're gonna go ahead and meet up over here at Aiden's house, over there, they're outside, we're gonna go ahead, just hang out, we might go out to eat later, and I'll show you guys for sure what I'm having for my next meal. What's going on, Aiden? <laughs> I rigged it to the point where I have a Colin, Colin shifter, and I shift it with my Colin. So like, <laughs> I pop it with this circle, so it's in reverse. <laughs> and it's the most rigged shit. My, my, uh, cable, my cable snapped, so this doesn't even work anymore. I could be him. I always have the lefties. Who? <laughs> uh oh. Baby Prasad. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. I did not go backwards. Mm -hmm. Stay at the top like I'm stuck. It's just how I'm giving it up. She wanna give me. Oh. Alright, guys, so we are literally eating the next meal. I got a Big Mac with a Diet Coke. Let me go ahead and just explain this real quick because I know a lot of you guys are out thinking, like, this is not a fitness YouTube channel. There's no way this guy can do this. No, 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 no way. Nope. Nope. Not gonna happen. Let me explain something, dude. If it fits your macros, comes in handy a lot. Now, do I do this every single day? No, not at all. I probably do this once every maybe three weeks, if that. And even though I'm having this Big Mac in a zero calorie drink, I still track the Big Mac. So for those of you who don't know, McDonald's has a calorie counter and also it's in my fitness pal as well. This is worth 540 calories and it fits literally perfect, perfect into my macros. I'm gonna go home in about two hours, have two scoops of protein, um, and that will literally hit my macros pretty much spot on today. So this Big Mac is literally, like, it is so good. What are you laughing at over there, dude? Not so good. So basically, so this is, this is, this is kind of my take on it, right? I track my macros, I have like the clean foods, the rice, and the chicken and beef and everything like that. But it's nice to go out with the bros, with your friends sometimes, and enjoy it, but still track it and still make progress. So, that's kind of my take on it guys. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this. I don't know why I was craving one today, but I'm pretty excited to eat this. I have not had one in literally years. I hardly ever go to McDonald's. Anyways guys, I'm gonna go ahead, like I said, eat this, and I'll see you guys at home for my last meal and a protein shake. A little bit of a car change, eh? Yeah, yeah, buddy. <laughs> All right guys, so we're just getting home now. It's like 2, 2.05 in the morning. It's really late. We're gonna go ahead and just get our two and a half scoops of protein in. And the reason why I went to Mickey D's today, McDonald's, you know, it's just to show you guys they can fit into your macros, right? Do I ever go to McDonald's? No, not really, pretty much never. It's, it's pretty much highly processed, but I was for some reason craving a Big Mac. And I want to show you guys you can fit that in by tracking it and have fun and go out with your friends and stuff like that. Usually I don't go to McDonald's. If I do go out to eat, I'll go to somewhere if I want a burger, somewhere that actually cooks actual meat, uh, actual beef. Um, usually I don't pick McDonald's, but today we just so happened to go there. I was able to track it and everything like that. I was able to fit into my macros. Yes, I usually only have two scoops of protein a day, but today we ended up having four, which is something I don't usually like just because I like getting my protein from actual food, but just the way that worked out today. It's a full day of eating. I don't have anything planned. I just kind of go about my day and make sure I hit my macros. That's the thing about flexible dieting is that you can go out, enjoy your food, and still track it and make progress as well. 
Alright guys, let's go ahead and wrap it up for the video today. Hopefully you guys liked it, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys at the next video.